Okay, so good evening once again. Uh, so last time we discussed the executive and the legislative branches. So if you can still recall, so under the executive branch, so we have the president, the vice president, including the cabinet members. So the president will be elected uh, for one term that is equivalent to six years. Same true with the vice president. However, in the number of terms, so the vice president has two consecutive terms or if he can, he or she can serve for 12 years, depending on the government siya. And then for the cabinet members, so they have also this uh, appointment coming from the president, but if there will be no concurrence coming from the commission on appointments, so still the appointing power of the president has no effect. If the members of the commission on appointments negate the appointment, okay, so that's it. And we have also the regional governor under the autonomous region. And under the province, so we have the governor and the vice governor. Okay, under the municipality or city, so we have the mayor and the vice mayor. So under the barangay, so we have the barangay captain. So those are the different executives of the nation. So under the legislative, if you can still recall, so we have this Congress, okay? And we call it bicameral. So when we say bicameral again, so this is composed of two houses. Uh -huh. So the two houses are the following. So the Senate and the House of Representatives. So the head in the Senate is called the Senate President. And the head of the House of Representatives is called the House Speaker or Speaker of the House. So under the House of Senate and the House of Representatives, so we have the autonomous uh, regional legislative assembly. So it is also composed of 24 and headed by a speaker also. So under the province, so we have the provincial assembly, which is uh, headed by the vice governor. Okay. And under the municipal or city, so we have the municipal or city assembly, so headed by the vice mayor. Now in the barangay level, so we have the barangay assembly, and now it is headed already by the barangay captain. And under the barangay, so we have the youth assembly, the head of mayor also is the SD chairman. So that is the, or those are the members of the legislative branch. But if we're going to look at it in the discussion that we have, we only did have the Senate and the House of Representatives. In the executive branch also, we did have only the president and vice president, but we did not give uh, any emphasis on the cabinet, including the regional governor uh, down to the barangay level. So I'm showing to you this one so that you will have a clear picture of the composition of both the executive branch and the legislative branch. So this evening we'll continue to our next topic. And I'm going to share to you a new slide. Um, okay, I'll stop sharing this one. I'm going to share to you a new video, oh, no, a PowerPoint presentation I mean. So of course, uh, you know already what this is because this is the last uh, branch of the government. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so we have here the judicial department or the judiciary. So this is the last, uh, last uh, branch of the government that we have. So in the Article 8, so this is actually uh, Article 8 of the 1907 Philippine Constitution. So under the Section 1, so we have here the judicial power okay, that's being talked upon. And this judicial power will always be vested in the Supreme Court, okay, in all lower courts. So when I say judicial power, okay, this refers to the power to apply the laws. 
okay, to contest or disputes concerning regular recognized rights. So we have these rights, okay, uh, being protected by the Constitution at the same time the different statutes that we have. Okay, if you have some problems, so you can actually file cases or you can sue someone, okay, and file the uh, case, okay, in the court. So it will depend if there are actually provable cause, because once uh, there will be probable cause, so that means to say that you have this uh, chance, okay, to file that case because without any probable cause, okay, so that could not happen. So loosely, according here, the judiciary refers to the court system, okay. So in some 